Hello again, my friends. This is Kanita, and I greet you warmly, warmly this day in our name of our risen Lord, Yeshua, Almighty God. Well, I'm getting ready to go out, uh, go out on the routes again. I'm all loaded up, came home, grabbed a bite to eat, and uh, I'm ready to uh, head out towards Dayton and some parts southeast and uh, a little bit of Columbus first. But before I left, uh, just a brief word. Just a brief word. From the book of Second Peter, we read these words. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Grace. You know, we hear about grace and people talk about grace all the time. But you know, when in our walk with the Lord, we at last come to see and feel our need for His loving grace. Every moment, every day in our lives. When we come to that point as believers, my friends, here we at once perceive the beauty and the wisdom of God's overflowing measure of this wondrous grace given to each lamb. Yet the truth is that we do not really desire to taste the sweetness and enjoy the preciousness of this grace until we have seen ourselves seen ourselves as God sees us in all our sin and filthiness and when we are brought to know feel and understand deep within our conscience just what we are in the eyes of God under our own merits and when we see this and we begin to feel it and we understand that our good works, our very best works, would damn us. Damn us just as equally as our bad works. When God's grace is thus opened up to the soul, the living soul sees that grace flows only through the Savior's blood, and this gift of grace superabounds over all the workings of darkness and sin within his heart. It heals all the wanderings, covers all the transgressions, lifts up out of darkness, pardons iniquity, and in fact is just the very remedy we need for all the maladies under which we groan every day, every day. Truth be told, my friends, we as lambs could not walk the length of a street in this world without his grace. We need grace. We need grace more than we need air, food, and water. We need grace, free grace. Grace today. Grace tomorrow. Grace this moment. Grace the next. Grace all day long. And all of this, my friends, all of this is multiplied repeatedly by all of our own wants and woes, sins and slips and falls, and even the inevitable and sometimes aggravated wanderings that we all seem to go through. Oh, my friends, know this. We need grace. We must have grace. God's free grace, grace to believe, grace to hope, grace to love, grace to fight, grace to conquer, grace to stand, grace to live, grace to die. Every moment of our lives as lambs, we need this keeping grace, his supporting grace, his loving grace, upholding grace and even his withholding grace at times. Oh, that we could see and feel the deepness of our need. For when we understand the deepness of our need, it will keep us close to the fountain, my friends. And this, this is the purpose and the beauty and the wisdom behind God's grace. Amen. May God's grace 
and peace be warmly and richly multiplied unto you, my friends. Until the next time, have a wonderful day in our risen Lord. Goodbye.